friends! In our last video, we made this adult knitted hat with a 2x2 two two knit pearl brim and a pom-pom. Now, we're going to make a matching hat, but this time for a one-year-old. For this project, you will need 6 millimeter circular knitting needles. I have mine on a 12-inch cable, but I'm gonna be honest, you would be okay if you had a 6-inch cable as well, because this is going to be a smaller hat. I'm using these short needles today. You'll also need some yarn. This should be enough to make a baby-sized hat. This hat is going to fit anywhere from nine to 12 months, but because of the stretch, I think you could get it up to about an 18 month old. That's the plan. You'll also need some scissors, as well as a yarn needle to weave in the ends and to sew up the top. So gather your supplies and let's jump in. We're going to be starting with a long tail cast on. To determine how long your tail needs to be, you can wrap your yarn around your needle as many times as the number of cast on stitches you need to do. I'm going to just not do that and instead I'm going to wing it. The way I wing it is I make the tail much longer than I think I'll need and usually that's just fine. Now, we're going to start with a slip knot, just like this. And we're gonna put that slip knot onto our knitting needle as our first stitch, our slip stitch. Next, we're going to cast on our stitches. For this project, we're gonna have 48 stitches and we're gonna be working in the round. So I'm going to cast on. The way I do that is I loop the yarn around, this is the tail, around my finger. I put that loop onto the knitting needle wrap the yarn in my left hand, the working yarn, around clockwise on the needle, and then put that loop back over the needle head and pull tight. We don't want it to be too tight though, just pull it so that it's a little bit more snug. Same thing again, wrap it around, round clockwise, put that loop over the needle and draw it closed. And we're gonna do that until we have 48 stitches on our needle. The first slip stitch we did counts as one, and then we're gonna do 47 more, just like how I'm doing now. So I'm gonna get through those, and I'll meet you when I've finished my 48 stitches. All right, here is how it's looking with the 48 stitches on. Now I'm going to put the working yarn and the yarn tail side into my right hand. And then in my left hand, I'm going to be working the stitches. So I'm going to pull the stitches up onto the needle where I'm gonna be working them like this. You know what? I think I need to get a shorter cable. All right, that's better. Now let me zoom you in for this part. We're gonna start with the working yarn and the tail end in the right hand and the no tail end in my left hand. Then we're gonna be doing a two knit, two purl repeat. This first stitch is what's going to connect our round. So this first stitch, I'm gonna do a knit stitch. A knit stitch is inserting the needle from front to back diagonally behind the stitch like this. Then I'm going to wrap the yarn around counterclockwise around the needle, the back needle. Then with the left hand needle, I'm going to pull the loop over the right hand needle. And then I'll release the stitch. And there's my first stitch. Let me show you again with the second stitch. For a knit, I'm gonna insert the needle diagonally through the stitch, inserting the right needle, and then with the yarn, I'm going to wrap the yarn around the right needle counterclockwise. And then with the left needle, I'm going to pull the loop that's on the left needle over top of the right needle, and then I'll pull the left needle out. And now the stitch is on the right needle. Now we're gonna do two purls. For the purl stitch, the yarn needs to be in front of the work. For the knit stitch, the yarn is behind the work. So we're gonna move the yarn into the front of the work and then insert the needle into the stitch, but now we're inserting into the front of the stitch. Like that. Then we'll yarn over, still counterclockwise, over the right needle and then we'll pass the right needle ugh, underneath in order to bring that loop onto the other side. Then we can pull the left needle out, just like that. So let's do it again for the second stitch. We're going to insert the needle 
into the stitch diagonally through the front of the stitch. Then we'll yarn over counterclockwise, pass that right needle underneath with our little new loop onto the right needle. And then we'll pull the left needle out of the stitch. And now we've got two purls on the stitch. Now we have to move the yarn back behind the work because we're gonna do two more knit stitches. We're gonna insert the needle diagonally through the stitch front to back, yarn over counterclockwise and pass the left needle stitch over the right needle and pull it out. Insert front to back diagonally, yarn over, pass the stitch over the loop and pull it out. And there's two knits. Now let me show you a knit and a purl a little bit more quickly. So for the purl, insert, yarn over, pass it under, pull it out. Insert, yarn over, pass it under, pull it out. Knit, insert, yarn over, pass the stitch over the other. Insert, yarn over, pass the stitch over the other. And I'm gonna be doing this two by two repeat all the way around for this first round. This is what the brim is going to be made up of. So I'm going to do knit two, purl two. Knit two, purl two, until I reach the beginning of the round where we started. So I'm gonna zoom through the rest of this round because it's just the same two stitches, knit two, purl two, and I will meet you at the end of the round to show you what we're gonna do next. All right, I've made it to the end of the first round. I've got two purl stitches left here. So we're gonna do purl one, oops, and purl two. And now we're back at the beginning of the round. And I'm actually going to add a stitch marker here just so that I know where my round starts and finishes. It makes it a little bit easier uh, when I'm navigating this. Now I'm gonna do five more rounds exactly the same way. So I'm gonna do knit two, purl two all the way around five more times for a total of six rounds of knit two, purl two. That's gonna be the brim of our hat and that is going to be enough width for a baby's head. For the adult head, I did 10 rounds and that created about a two inch brim. We don't need that much space on this one. So I'm gonna do knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two for five more rounds. So I will see you at the end of round number six to show you what we're gonna do to continue on this beanie. All right, I've made it to the end of my six rounds with the um, knit one, purl one, or knit two, purl two rather, and look at how cute that little band looks. Isn't that an adorable brim? Now, for the next 10 rows, or rounds rather, for the next 10 rounds, we're just gonna knit around. So we're not going to do any purls anymore, just knit in the round for 10 rounds. So we've got six rounds of the brim, and then we're gonna do 10 rounds for the side. I'm gonna zoom through these 10 rounds because it's the same thing, just knit stitch over and over and over again, all the way around until we've got 10 rounds of knit. I'll see you at the end of those 10 rounds to show you what we're gonna do next. All right, I've just finished my 10 rounds of just knit stitches. So I've got my 10 rounds of stockinette. That's what it's called when you're just working knit stitches in the round. And now it's time to do our first decrease. So we started with 48 stitches in our round. We're gonna divide that by four, which gives us 12. So we're going to have 12 stitches in each set. We're gonna have four decreases in this round. So how that's gonna look for this hat is two knit stitches together. So we're gonna knit two together, insert the needle through two stitches instead of just one, yarn over like normal and pull it through like normal. So there is two stitches are now one stitch. So two, three, four, 11 and 12. And now again, we're gonna do knit two together, one and two, and then after we've knit the two together, we're gonna knit 10 additional stitches. So, cause we've got one and two plus 10 is 12. So one, two, three, four, and 12. And then we will knit two together and then knit into the next 10 stitches for a total of 12 in that set. 
We're gonna do that all the way around. So there's gonna be four decreases, four times we're gonna knit two together. And between each of those knit two together, we're gonna have 12 stitches. Sorry, we're gonna have 10 stitches. So there's one and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we are at our last decrease. So we will knit two together and then knit to the beginning of the round, which will be 10 stitches. So there's one, two, here's three, four, nine, and 10. And look at that, we're back at the beginning of the round. Now, that was round number 11. Now, for rounds 12 and 13, we're just going to knit around. We're not going to do any decreases for rounds number 12 and 13. So I'm just gonna knit in every stitch all the way around for two rounds. I'll meet you at the end of round number 13 to show you what we're gonna do for round number 14. Here I am coming up to the end of round number 13. Now for round number 14, we're gonna do another decrease round. For this one, we're gonna begin with knit two together for the first two stitches. That is our decrease stitch for this hat. So knit two together, then knit nine. There's one, two, three, and nine. It's a little snug, knit two together, and then knit nine. We're gonna repeat that all the way around. Knit two together, then knit nine, knit two together, then knit nine, until we reach the stitch marker at the beginning of the round. If counting stresses you out a little bit with the knitting, you can also do a visual check to know when you want to knit two together. So let me show you what that looks like. We have a knit two together here. You see these two rounds here? Two stitches become one stitch. We've got one, two, and they become one. So this stitch is gonna be the first of the two we knit together. So this will be the last stitch before we do another knit two together. So if you're not counting, or if counting stresses you out, you can also just visually check when you need to do another knit two together. So our next knit two together is going to be here. Do you see we've got a spot where we have one row here, one row here, but then here it becomes just an, its own row. They shrink together to become one. They knitted this and this together to become this. So this will be where we knit two together. So you can either count nine stitches between each knit two together or just visually check when it's time to knit two together. But do that all the way around for round number 14. Here I am at the end of round number 14. I'll put my last two knit stitches in. Then I'll move my stitch marker over. And now for round number 15, I'm just going to knit in the round. So no decreases for round number 15. I'm just gonna zoom through this round because it's just knitting in the round with no decreases. And I'll see you at the end of round number 15. Here I am at the end of round number 15. I'm gonna put my last two knit stitches in here. And now for round number 16, we're gonna do another decrease round. So I'm going to knit two together, and then we're going to knit into the next eight stitches. There's one, two, and eight. And then we're gonna knit two together, and then we're gonna knit eight, and then we'll knit two together, and then knit eight, and then we'll knit two together, and then knit eight. We'll have four decreases in the round with eight stitches between each decrease. And that is what we're gonna do for round number 16. For round number 17, we are going to just knit in the round. So I am going to just skip over round number 17 because it is just gonna be a knit in the round round, no increases or decreases. So I'm gonna zoom through this and I will meet you at the end of round number 17 to show you what we're gonna do next. All right, here's how it's looking after round number 17. And now for round number 18, we're going to do the same decrease again. So we're going to knit two together, and now we're going to knit seven, and then knit two together and knit seven, knit two together and knit seven, knit two together and knit seven. Then for round 19, we're just going to knit around. Then for round 20, we're gonna knit two together, then knit six, 
knit two together, then knit six, knit two together, then knit six, knit two together, then knit six. Then for round 21, we'll just knit around. And then round number 22, we're going to knit two together, then knit five, knit two together, then knit five. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. And then round number 23, we're gonna knit around. And I will meet you at the end of round number 23 to show you what we're gonna do to finish off this hat. I'm gonna zoom through these because these decreases are just the exact same style of decrease we've been doing for this entire hat. And once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to just sort of follow the decreases, decreasing one stitch each round. You're decreasing in four different areas, but each of those sections is just losing one stitch. So I'll see you at the end of round number 23. <laughs> And hey, by the way, if you're liking this video so far, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and you're already here, so you might as well take a second and click that thumbs up. Thank you so much. I just finished my last round and it is looking perfect. You can see we've got our decreases here. We've got four decreases per round, which creates this nice little spiral that you're gonna see when we cast off. And by the way, it is time to cast off. So it is a little bit snug at this point because we don't have very many stitches left on our needles, but that's okay, because we don't need very many stitches on our needles to get this part finished. So I am going to just do a little bit of a magic loop in order to be able to work these stitches a little bit more easily for me. And now we're going to do our cast off stitches. Now for the cast off, we're going to start by knitting the first stitch. Then we'll knit the second stitch. Then we'll pass the first stitch we knitted over top of the second stitch we knitted. And that is how we cast off. Then we'll knit the next stitch. Then we'll pass the previous stitch over the stitch we just knitted. Then we'll knit the next stitch and we'll pass the previous stitch over the stitch we just knitted. And at this point, I can pull those other stitches off and now we've just got one working stitch on the right hand needle. And then we'll just be doing one knit stitch, pass over the previous stitch. One knit stitch, pass over the previous stitch. And we're gonna do that all the way around until we have finished our round and have only one stitch left on our needle. All right, and here's our last stitch to cast off. Knit the stitch and then pass, oops, pass the previous stitch over. And now we've got our final stitch. And now I can pull the needle out and we can pull that stitch through. I'm gonna cut my yarn at this point. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail for myself because that is going to be what we do our drawstring method with. And you can see there's still a hole at the top of the hat but that is going to be closed up with a drawstring. And for the drawstring method, I'm going to thread up my needle. I'm gonna try to, there we go. And I'm gonna fold the needle, the remaining yarn, sorry, onto itself so that there will be a little bit of a tail left here. And now I'm going to weave my needle up and down through my stitches. So we just finished here, but our first stitch of the round is over here. So I'm going to come down through that first stitch, come up through the second stitch, then go back down, then back up, back down, and back up. And I'm just gonna do that all the way around until I get back to the beginning of my round. And now that I've made it back to the beginning, I'm going to come back down through that initial stitch that has the tail coming out and I'm going to pull my needle down through the work, just like that. And then with this tail end, I'm going to put it also down through the work. You can thread up your needle to do this, but I'm just going to tuck it through because I think I can make it work. There we go. And now we're gonna turn the hat inside out. There we go. Now we've got our needle and the tail both coming out. Now I'm going to make sure that this little short row is nice and flat and then I'm gonna pull tight on that needle to draw the top closed. And I'm gonna keep the seam, this whole like wide edge, I'm gonna keep it so that it stays on the inside of the hat. We want the outside of the hat to be nice and round. We don't want any of these edges to show. So we wanna keep them nice and round on the inside of the work like that. And then I'll just pull that tight, tight closed. And then I'll take that tail we have from the beginning just to tie a nice tight knot. Just like that, and there we go. And then when we turn the hat right side out, the hat is now closed, 
and it has a nice clean appearance, just like that. Now we need to make a pom-pom for this hat as well. So I'm going to take my yarn and I think I have a little bit left in this pink color as well. So I'm gonna throw this in to the pom-pom as well. And what I'm gonna do for my pom-pom is I'm gonna wrap this around my fingers as many times as it feels right. So I'll just keep wrapping this around my fingers till it feels like it's gonna be a nice puffy pom-pom. And now I'm gonna get another piece of yarn, a little bit longer, cut that. Then we're gonna lay our roll of yarn here on top of my piece of yarn. And I'm gonna just tie that closed. And we'll tie that as tight as we can. And then I'm gonna double knot it. And then I'll flip the pom-pom over and I'll do the same thing on the other side, just for a little extra security. And there we go. Now I'm gonna take my scissors, insert them into the loops of yarn and cut them. And I wanna separate all of those loops so that they are loose strands. Now I'm gonna just take a second to round out this pom-pom. So some areas have longer strands, some have shorter strands. I'll just take a second to trim them to make it a more round sort of puffy ball shape. All right, I think we've got a nice round little pom-pom here. So now I'm going to cut the yarn where it's being held here by this yarn needle. And then I am going to thread up the yarn needle that or thread up the yarn needle rather with the yarn that we used to tie up the pom-pom like that. And then I'm going to insert that yarn needle right down through the top of the work, top of the hat, pulling that pom-pom into place, just like this. And now the tails that we left behind from the um, drawstring method, we can tie those with the pom-pom yarn, tie a really nice tight knot, to secure the pom-pom onto the hat. We don't want that ever going anywhere. And now I'm going to take that yarn needle again. I'm gonna split the yarn that I had on the yarn needle. I'm gonna thread it back up. And then I'm gonna insert that needle up through the work in a different spot, just like this. And then I'm going to insert it right through the middle of that pom-pom, through a nice thick part of the pom-pom coming out through the other end. And then I'm just gonna insert it back down through the hat through another spot. Trying to get close to the middle though, close to the top of the hat. You're so cute. Just like that. And then again, I'll take those ends that are left, knot them together real tight. You're so cute. And then I'll grab all the tails and knot them together. And that will just secure that pom-pom onto the hat. For the long term, nothing's gonna pull this thing off, let me tell you. And then I'll just do a double knot for extra, extra, extra security. And now we can cut the tail off that. And there we go. Now we've got a hat with a little pom-pom. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? And just like that, friends, it's finished. This one is such a quick make. This one took, I don't know, like an hour to knit up. It's so cute. How adorable with that pom-pom. I love the two by two knit pearl rib stitch. I think that came out so cute. This is a great hat for nine months all the way up to 18 months. With this stretch, this hat can grow with baby. If it's too big and it's you've got a little nine month old with a small head, you can always fold the brim up and then it'll fit. And for your 18 month old, this is going to fit as well because look at all that room. Look at that stretch. Also, it's super warm because we've got multiple strands together making up a really thick fabric. It's so squishy. Look at the squish in that yarn. This is gonna be such a great holiday gift, especially paired with our previous hat. You can have an adult hat and a baby hat for the mama and baby or the daddy and baby or the auntie and baby or whoever and baby in your life. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you're gonna be making this hat for the baby in your life. And thank you so much for watching. By the way, thank you to everyone who is supporting the channel this month. Here's the list of all of the supporters. If you'd like to show your support for the channel as well, check out all the links in the description box down below. All the different ways you can support will be listed down there. But don't forget, if you don't wanna do any of those methods, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. That helps the algorithm know that this video is one to watch out for. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.